Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving our rental bathroom a makeover. So if you need some decoration inspiration, just keep watching. This bathroom is on the smaller side. It's definitely not the smallest bathroom we've ever had, but it's pretty tight. All of the decor that we have in here came with us from our apartment, so I'm excited to kind of change it all out with budget-friendly things that I found at Target and Home Goods. So I'm not really the girl that's going to cut up bread and butter and serve it to somebody on a platter, but whenever I saw this at Home Goods, I was like, this is, will be cute in my bathroom, so I bought it. This mouthwash container is from Target. I'll link it down below. I was so excited to find this for $10 because my kids get mouthwash everywhere. All over the sink, all over everything. Here is trial rug number one. I switched them out so many times in this video. You'll see throughout the video how many times I switch up decorations just until I know for sure that I like something. So I just be sure to keep my receipts because I feel like you never know if you really like something until you get it in your home. I ended up leaving this up for a couple days, but I didn't like it. It kind of just washed out the walls. So I ordered this one from Target's website. It's the Castellina line. Still not real crazy about the way that this is looking. Oops, the wall, it's just very much the same color. So I'm not sure. I'll probably be on the lookout for a different towel to hang there. I got this to pour this open because I thought it would just make that a lot cuter. And then this is from Hearth and Hand or Hearth and Home, whatever it's called. I thought this was so cute. Like it looks super real for being fake. And I found this basket. So I thought this would be nice to put on the back of the toilet and put the stuff that I keep on the back of the toilet on there. I got floating shelves that I wanted to hang them up on top of the toilet. So I'm just gonna take painter's tape and kind of measure out how wide they are so I know where to hang them at. I was feeling so confident in this moment. I was like, yes, I can anchor a screw in the wall. I can hang these shelves. I got this. But it turns out there are some anchors that you just screw right into the wall. You don't have to hammer them. So I learned that, so you don't have to. <laughs> I don't think it would even be one of my projects if we weren't having to fix some type of mistake. <laughs> After an insane amount of trial and error and knocking a hole through the wall and having to have my husband come and fix all of it, I think the shelves are up. So they're really, really pretty now that they're actually up. Don't they look good? They kind of look uneven from the angle that I have y'all up. These were more stressful than I thought they were gonna be. It was a whole situation, but they're cute and I'm excited. Now I'm gonna bring in all the decor because we're finally done with the, the heavy labor. So I have this, it's the Studio McGee from Target and I think I'm gonna put it up here. After 
that, I command strip this bad boy to the wall on the top so it wouldn't happen again. For now, I'm not gonna hang the plant from the ceiling. I think I'm just gonna leave it on this shelf. So I'll show you what it looks like. I've got it right here. And then I just kind of tuck the string back in there. And then I have this picture. And I kind of feel like that's good for this shelf. And then I have this, it's from Magnolia. But I like that it would kind of bring that same color over here. I got this at Hobby Lobby. The main thing that I liked about it was that it brought in the same color as this. Don't be afraid to move stuff around a hundred times until you figure out how you like it the best. I like to keep my decor pretty neutral. That way, whenever I get bored, I can just move it to different areas of my house. I'm gonna take this little faux plant from Target and I'm gonna swap out this one just to give this a little more height. I've had this one in my bathroom for like three or four years, so I'll probably just clean it up and use it somewhere else because it's still cute just to kind of switch things up. I found this at Hobby Lobby and I just thought it was super cute because it kind of has like the green tones in it that I was going for and then just little specks of orange. So I thought it would be really cute in here. This one is the same tone and feel as the shelves. I ended up trying several different rugs and several different hand towels trying to break up that orange color from being everywhere all over the bathroom. I'm not a huge fan of like matchy matchy. I also still have this one, so you guys will have to let me know if you think this one looks better or this one. I like this one, I just don't know if it goes with that. I ended up moving this picture over here because I just felt like this was too boring with just the towels. The majority of everything from my bathroom came from Target. I'll be sure to link it down below in case you want to look at anything. But be sure if you're going to purchase something to wait until it's on sale. Because they always have a sale on their bathroom stuff through their app. like it all came together pretty nicely I think this is gonna be a room that will be a work in progress for a while I think that officially wraps up our rental bathroom refresh so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which rug you prefer, the green one or the orange one. If you haven't yet subscribed, we would love to have you and I will see you next Saturday for a new video.